In this question, we need to find the right limit, left limit, two-sided limit, and function values at x equals 3. Let's concentrate on the left limit at 3. To find the left limit at 3, we need to approach 3 from the left side. We have to choose a starting point, but if you re-examine previous examples, you'll see that the starting point is not important, as the limit depends on the behavior of the function values closest to 3. So, as long as we approach 3 from the left, the starting point is not important. We'll pick 2 as the starting point. Let's denote the x value with a red dot. To find the point on the graph corresponding to the x coordinate in red, let's draw a vertical line from the red point to the graph, which is shown by the blue dot. To find the corresponding y coordinate, let's draw a horizontal line from the blue point to the y axis. Mark the point where the line meets the axis with a green dot. The value of the y coordinate is shown next to the green dot. Finally, the red dot shows the input x coordinate and the green dot shows the corresponding y coordinate. Let's observe the movement of the y coordinate as x moves toward 3 from the left. We can see that as x moves towards 3 from the left, y moves towards 4 therefore, we conclude that the left limit of f at 2 is 4. We denote it by symbols as, lim as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x equals 4. Now, let's focus on the right limit. To find the right limit at 3, we have to approach 3 from the right side. Let's start from the furthest point under the graph on the right side, which is marked by the red dot. To find the point on the graph corresponding to the x-coordinate in red, let's draw a vertical line from the red point to the graph, which is shown by the blue dot. To find the corresponding y-coordinate, let's draw a horizontal line from the blue point to the y-axis. Mark the point where the line meets the axis, with a green dot. The value of the y-coordinate is shown next to the green dot. Finally, the red dot shows the input x-coordinate, and the green dot shows the corresponding y-coordinate. Let's observe the movement of the y-coordinate as x moves toward 3 from the right. We can see that as x moves towards 3 from the right, y moves towards 4. Therefore, we conclude that the right limit of f at 3 is 4. We denote it by symbols as lim as x approaches 3 from the right of f of x equals 4. Now, because the right and left limits are defined and equal to 4 the two-sided limit is also defined and equal to the common value 4 which we represent in symbols as. Finally, let's find the function value at x equals 3. To determine this, we need to locate the point on the graph that corresponds to x equals 3 on the x-axis. Let's first, identify the point where x equals 3 on the x-axis, which is shown by, the red dot. This will help us find the value of the function at this point. To find the value of the function at x equals 3, we need to draw a vertical line, through the red dot at x equals 3. The y-coordinate of the point, where the graph intersects the vertical line, will give the function value, at x equals 3. The graph seems to intersect the vertical line, at the open dot above the red point, at x equals 3. However, according to conventions, the open dot does not belong to the graph, and therefore, it does not count. The graph does not intersect the vertical line at any point. The function f, is undefined, at x equals 3. Note that, in this case, the two-sided limit is defined, but the function value is not.